In this presentation, I am going to introduce you to customization options for changing the look and feel of the user interface for applications that are being displayed using the Genero web client. With the exception of the Genero presentation styles, these options are only for those applications being displayed by the Genero web client. They will not affect the display of applications being delivered by the Genero desktop client. When an application is displayed using the Genero web client, its user interface look and feel is initially determined by its application mode, which is provided by a map ID. The map ID can be explicitly specified in the URL. In the example shown here, we can see that the URL ends with a question mark, followed by an explicit setting of DUA underscore Ajax for the output map. When the map ID is not passed in as an argument, which is likely to be more common, then its map is determined by settings in the auda.xrd file. This file identifies which map to use based on the end user's browser type. The auda.xrd file is located in the fgl asdir slash etsy directory. Let's examine parts of this file. For example, if the browser is Microsoft Internet Explorer, the selected map is DUA underscore Ajax underscore HTML. The default for any browser not explicitly referenced is DUA underscore Ajax. I recommend that you spend a couple of minutes examining the entries in the auda.xrd file. In addition to the desktop browser entries that I've just highlighted, you should be easily be able to spot such entries for handheld browsers such as Windows CE and the iPhone and see that they are set to use the map of DUA underscore PDA. You can edit this file to change which map is selected for a specific browser type. The GWC therefore knows what map to use but how is this translated into templates and snippets that define how the UI is rendered in the browser? Let's look at the AS.XCF file. If you have viewed the Adding an Application presentation, you should recall that an application's configuration includes a parent attribute, which identifies the abstract application from which it inherited its base configuration. For a GWC application, the Genero Application Server initial configuration provides a default abstract application named Default GWC. Let's find the abstract application Default GWC. We find the entry in the application list section of the configuration file and we can see that the application is configured to identify the map and based on that map and based on that map value a rendering and a theme component is identified for each map. Let's look at the entries for the DUA underscore Ajax. What we see, the rendering component identifies which rendering engine is to be used to render the application. For snippet-based rendering, which is highly recommended that is you use, it will either be the GWC2HTML or the GWC2XHTML engine to render using XML or XHTML you won't be changing these values. The theme component is more interesting for our discussion as it identifies what template and snippet sets will be used to render the application. We identify the theme component using our map and then find that the theme and then find that theme in the web application theme component section of the component list. And now within this element, we can see the template and snippet sets that are defined. In the most basic terms, 
The template controls the overall application's rendering within the browser and identifies what CSS and JavaScript files are to be included. Each snippet contains the details on how to take an item from the application's AUI tree and, based on the widget, how to render it as HTML or XHTML. A special snippet, the stylist snippet, identifies the style sheet to use to translate the Genero presentation styles into inline styles. To explain this graphically, we start with a user agent or browser and an application's configuration file. Based on the map passed in or specified in the auda.xrd file, a theme is selected. The theme identifies which templates, snippet sets, CSS, and JavaScript are to be used. When the application starts, the application and the presentation styles are run by the DVM and they result in the AUI tree. Now the AUI tree and the templates and snippets are passed to the rendering engine, which creates the XML, XHTML, or HTML, which is then passed to the browser. The browser displays the application, incorporating any CSS and JavaScript that have been specified by the theme and templates. Based on this architecture, when you are looking to customize the look and feel of your application as it appears in a web browser, you have four options. You can modify the Genero presentation styles by changing the .4st file. Realize that these changes not only affect how the application is displayed by the GWC, but also by other front ends such as the GDC. You can customize the template and snippet files. You will need to understand HTML and the Genero template language, but otherwise they are simply text files that you edit. You can add your own cascading style sheets, and you can add your own JavaScript. Forges has a recommended order that we ask you to follow. Can you accomplish your goals using Genero presentation styles? If you can, go ahead and do that. If not, see if you can make the desired changes through cascading style sheets. If that isn't enough, try modifying templates and snippets. And lastly, you can add your own JavaScript. The remaining presentations and the customization topics take you into each of these customization options from start to finish.